Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you as usual. Today we're gonna talk about what's called a media coverage analysis. Now, if you work in PR, stay tuned, right? Watch this, bookmark it, share it, send it to a friend, send it to your boss, uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff too. But I wanna talk about this because it's important. I, I, I run data like this all the time. And you know, in my career, I've been asked multiple times to uh, do an analysis on what the media is saying about a particular topic or a client. And I wanna talk about kind of taking that one step further and providing just a little bit more value than the normal reports that you're seeing across your desk. But before we dive into it, I wanna talk quickly about um, the, the economic model of brand relevance. And this is a model that you know I put together years ago. It's, it's kind of evolved and it's, it's been something, a, a pet project for years to try to understand and articulate how to use data to understand audiences and how to make it actionable. And so this model, does just that. So if you look at on the right, you have traditional media, you have influencers and audience groups. Now today we're talking PR, right? So your audience right now is traditional media. Now you can use data and analytics to understand the topics, the trends, the stories that is demanding the attention of your audience, right? And again, that could be the media publication at large, or it could be specific journalists that you're, you're, you know, you're targeting. Now that's important because if you can understand what it is that's top of mind, you can look at yourself and say, are we meeting the demand of the media with our supply of content? Now, again, you don't have control over earned media, right? You have messaging, you have your, your, your bullet points, you know, your PR people are, you know, reaching out to different journalists and sending embargoes and all that stuff. So you don't have a ton of control. Now you have control over owned content and social content, but you don't have control over earned media, but still, understanding what is trending amongst a group of people, like an audience of journalists or the media at large, um, you can craft your narrative, you can craft your messaging in a way that is in alignment with what it is they're talking about. So the chances are if you do that, they're more likely to pick up the phone or respond to an email um, and hopefully you'll get coverage. So I hope that model makes sense to you. Um, but it is important to understand again who your audience is and isolate them as a data set because you can't just do an analysis over what everybody is talking about, right? Be, you have to be specific if you really want to uncover true insights. And, and by analyzing the media, uh, you can do that. You can understand which media publications are talking about which topic. And then more importantly, within the context of that topic, what are those you know common themes and uh, topics that are in parallel or running parallel with the broader topic that you're looking at. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this example so you can see exactly what I mean when I say media coverage report. Now, we're not counting numbers here, right? There's no graphs with how, you know, what media publications are, how often they're writing about a topic or a brand. That might be part of a larger kind of deck or analysis, but this is a coverage analysis to understand the context of the media. Now, what we're looking at is the UK media and kind of how they're covering retail and it's clustered into different topics and each topic is color coded. So you have business as, as one topic, shopping as another topic, UK specific retail, etc. Now they're color coded and you can see their the sizes are different as well. And that means that uh, the volume is higher. So UK media talks a lot about just business in general. Now, not very helpful, right? Because I, I could, I could have guessed that and gotten it correct. But if you, if you go to that next level within kind of the business topic, you can see uh, rates, sales, market solutions, normal and products. And then going one layer further, you see tax relief, sales, spending, delivery. So now you can understand, okay, as it relates to business and retail, the UK media are talking about tax relief and interest rates and sales and open markets and investors. Now, if you go down to shopping, you can see it's the same thing. There's a, there's a, a large piece of coverage around online shopping, the lockdown, customer sales, landlords and rent and leasing and things like that. Uh, Jeff Bezos is also here. So this is great because now you can understand if you, if you go back to that, that, you know, supply and demand model, these are the topics that are top of mind for the UK media right now today as it relates specifically to retail okay so again if we looked up you know security or software or fashion or travel or uh, you know sports apparel it would be 100 percent completely different right it would be a different set of media publications and then this conversation analysis or coverage analysis rather would also look very different as well so this to me tells me that now i know from a pr and media relations standpoint how i might want to kind of craft my narrative, craft my pitch, 
start writing you know head, various headlines that incorporate a lot of these keywords um, into press releases and maybe even you know sponsored content or executive thought leadership and so again this is not just you know the the who um, it's the who but it's more importantly the what what is the UK media saying about retail um, as it relates to the coverage in the UK I know I covered a lot today so thanks for hanging in there thanks for bearing with me you know if you work in PR, either on the brand side or at the agency side, you know, these are things that you need to start thinking about. It, it, from my standpoint, it's table stakes. Understanding what the top media is saying is very important. Now, what we looked at a minute ago was the top media publications in the UK. Now, if you want to be even more laser focused and granular, um, you can look at five media publications like Forbes and Fortune and Ad Age and uh, you know, Bloomberg and CNN um, and understand what they're saying about a specific topic. I call this multi-channel uh, media intelligence and I wrote about this uh, last year in 2020 where I talked about isolating certain media publications e either at the, you know, it could be the top 50 media that's important to your business, it could be the top tech media, it could be seven or 10 media publications that your CEO says we want coverage there. So whatever the, the quantity of media publications are, it doesn't matter. Even if you wanted to look at Forbes as an example, just Forbes, what is Forbes? How do they cover? travel like what are the topics related to travel that are top of mind for Forbes contributors and, and journalists and so again you can do this at the very granular level at the media publication level or you can do 10 15 20 100 a thousand again it just really depends upon what you're looking for and what do you want to do with this so I hope it was helpful if you have any questions or comments and you want me to drill down more please let me know happy to do another video and kind of go deeper and um, again thanks so much for tuning in I really do appreciate you I appreciate all the support in 2020 I'm still going strong with my videos um, so please stay safe please stay healthy and until I see you next time have a great day.